<laughs> this is Jake Allen's journey after this piece was done during the season because it wasn't very easy. He had a really rough stretch in January against Boston, pulled three goals on 11 shots. Then the next game was against LA, three goals on 15 shots, yanked from the game. Third game in a row, and this one, Washington, they took him out, they put him back in, and he got pulled again. So then what they did was they took the unusual step. They were going to Winnipeg for a game. They left him at home to try to get him to reset. His next appearance was five days later against Minnesota, faced three shots, stopped them all. Then he got a start, and it was against the Jets. They lost. He gave up four goals on 23 shots. The very next day, the Blues treading water made the coaching change. Mike Yo in for Ken Hitchcock. There's been a lot of talk about Martin Brodeur's influence, and I'm sure that helps a lot. But Mike Yo made a couple of changes. He moved from a man-to-man -man defense to a zone defense, and he also asked for a defenseman to be in front of the net. The players said 95% of the time. Kelly, I think those two moves helped Allen as much too. Absolutely, but you know what? He did it himself. Mm -hmm. When you are in that deep of a hole and you're able to come out of it, I tell you, it means everything for your mental strength. And although he may not know it right now, he will never be that deep and that kind of hole ever again because the strength that he's gained, and I'm being serious here, he's such a great golfer, a scratch golfer from what I understand, he'll be even a better golfer also down the road because uh, trust me, when you are that low, you think that your next step is out of the game. When you are embarrassed to the point where they don't take you on a road trip, it tells you that uh, good things uh, are going to have to be earned the hard way.